Hi YouTube. I just wanted to do a very quick video on the uh, Samsung QI wireless fast charging stand. Now, if you guys, any of you guys own a sort of um, a Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 Edge or S7 or, or other sort of um, Samsung device and you want to fast charge wirelessly your phone, the best thing to do is, is to buy um, a genuine Samsung fast charging uh, stand. Now, unfortunately, um, there are many counterfeit items out there. And what I've discovered, and this is the reason why I'm posting this video, is that most of the um, items you find on eBay and I'll say most, um, that suggest that they are genuine and original are in fact not genuine or original. They are counterfeit and fake. Recently I've bought a couple of items from eBay and both of them turned out to be fakes uh, and counterfeit. So I've got refunds on them. The second one actually, the guy refunded me and uh, he let me keep the um, his um, charging unit. So that's why I'm making this video because uh, subsequently I bought an original genuine charger from Amazon which is absolutely fantastic I'm very happy and the differences are very subtle but um, you can do your sort of basic checks and uh, it's, it, it does become quite obvious which is a fake and which is a genuine so I'll just uh, do a quick um, demonstration of which ones are fake and which ones are genuine so first of all let's look at the um, both of these items I'll open them up first of all so I'm obviously using my Samsung phone here, so I won't be able to actually put them on a charger. But just take my word for it that the original genuine one works perfectly as it should. And it's, um, yeah, it, it works fast charging. So this is the, um, actually let's go over to the, the fake one here. So this I got off eBay. First of all, first thing you'll notice, it's, it's got this kind of label over here. Which in itself doesn't necessarily mean it's fake, but that's what I've noticed is different. One thing with the packaging which you can notice straight away, or, or at least I did, is the Samsung over here. So if you look very carefully, you can see the S is slightly out of sync um, with the rest of the lettering. So is the M there. If you look at the second peak on the M there, it's not perfectly straight. If I did it sideways, you can see it clearer. You can see there's a slight sort of um, drop there from the top, top side of the lettering. All right. So now if I go to the original, genuine one, you'll see that it's perfectly parallel and the lettering is absolutely spot on and looks fantastic. So that's that's one, one thing. Secondly, you turn over the packages and if you look, on the original you have this sticker over here which is an actual sticker so you can see it's genuine. On the fake item, it looks exactly the same apart from this is printed on. So that's another indication that this is a fake item. And also the font is slightly greyer and not as crisp as the original. So here the original is nice and strong and, and clear. On the fake one, it's slightly greyer looking. So to me, clearly not genuine. So now going into the actual products themselves. If I just open them up quickly, let me take out the two items, open that one up, take out the two items there. I'll take out the uh, instructions and put the cases to one side for now. Take out the instructions, put the cases to one side. So first of all, what you'll notice, the genuine one on the left hand side as you see it and the fake on the right hand side. So just looking at the products themselves, they're pretty much identical looking sort of at first glance two things that you'll notice if you look carefully enough on the fake item the stand here where the phone rests is kind of cheap and hard plastic whereas on the genuine item it's a sort of a a rubber sort of effect so it's sticky so obviously then the phone won't slip off secondly if you look here carefully this actually is not very clear but the light feature on the front on the fake item although it's not very really clear here is actually a hole whereas on the genuine item as you can see here there's a little little bit of white sort of plastic there on top so it's not a hole it's actually a, a proper white filter in front of the light there so that's that's you can see the genuine turn them around on the um, fake counterfeit item if you look carefully yourself you'll notice that the actual port where you stick your USB cable in 
isn't so perfect. The cutout's not great. And when you put the cable in, it actually, you have to force it in. It's not very smooth. Whereas on the, uh, the real item, it's an absolutely perfect cutout. Let's focus in on that. And it just slides in nice and easy. And it's absolutely really good quality there. So you know it's a genuine product there. The next thing is that um, you can see on the fake item, you get a, just a single piece of paper. It's not wrapped or anything. It just comes by itself. On the genuine one, it comes packed in a sort of a cellophane. And it's a whole book as well, so it's all the different languages, not just the uh, English. So that's, again, that's the genuine product. So essentially, that's it really. Um, finally, um, if you have a, uh, a weighing device, like a kitchen scales or something, genuine item weighs 167 to 168 grams. And the reason for that is that it's, uh, first of all, the build quality, and also it has an integrated fan. Whereas a fake item actually only weighs, or the one I've got here, only weighs 125 grams. The reason for that is, first of all, it, it, it is fake. Uh, the build quality it isn't very good. The plastics are cheap. And it doesn't have a fan. So that's one. So I, I guess if you had to do one check, the f one check would be to weigh the item. If it's, if it's way below 167, 168 grams, then it's definitely a fake. Simple as that. All right, I hope this video has been uh, important useful for you guys um it it would have been very useful for me if i had uh, seen a video like this um uh, before i went onto ebay but uh, i've learned a lot of lessons and uh, hopefully you won't make the same mistakes that i did good luck and uh, thank you for watching my video bye